it's interesting that you raise that because you do smile and you are very happy and you, everything you've said, you're super motivated and a very high achiever, but that can sometimes disguise that there are still setbacks and knockbacks. How do you deal when you get those knockbacks and a sponsor says, sorry, Emily, not this time? What, what do you do to get through that? I remind myself that for every, for every hundred no's, there's got to be one yes. Um, and I, in 2016, I called 300 companies and, and it was just a lot of cold calls because I, I didn't know how else to do it. Mm. Um, so it was cold calls, emails, you know, search on LinkedIn and try and find someone that's in the business that can make decisions. And what got me through that was the 100 no's is one yes. So by that time, it was 300 companies. I'd racked up three yeses. You can't, it's, it's not going to be, you know, the 301 person that's going to say yes, but I knew I had three up my sleeve. So I wanted to keep going. So it's just believing in yourself and kind of, you know, having those quirky little things in the back of your head, knowing that, um, you know, there's, there's got to be a way to do it. Where there's a will, there's a way. So keep persisting. Um, there's so many hard times and there's, you know, you're... I remember one week um, I quit every single night. Mm. I didn't want to do it. I'd had enough. But every morning I woke up and it was the first thing that I could think about. So I quit when, you know, no one was awake. Um, And it's okay to do that. But if you wake up the next morning and you still want to pursue it, then keep pursuing it. 